Hello world, this is What's Up 2190. Uh, uh, in today's tech tutorial, it's pretty casual. I'm just going to show you some cool terminal commands that I know of. Uh, so, first one I'm going to show you is how to, dis to make the icons on your desktop disappear. Please note that I have the uh, terminal codes pasted here. They will be in the description too. But after you type each code in and enter it, you're going to want to type. You're going to want to tell the terminal to the command "kill all finder." I'll show you. So first command, like I said, is going to make all these icons on the right side of the screen disappear. And then uh, you can just copy and paste it in the terminal. Uh, Terminal's taking a while to open. There we go. Then you're going to want to type finer. Oh, sorry. And then, as you can see, the uh, icons on the side of my terminal, on, on, the, on the side of my screen, have disappeared. And then now to make them come back, it's simple. You just paste this code in. Press enter. Finder. And they'll come back. So the second option you can do, the second terminal command, is a. Um, which is that you can prohibit media burning, so like you can stop people from being able to burn files to a disk and uh, stuff like that. So to do, so like if they try to burn a CD, they will just get in their message saying like you don't have permission. I can't show you because I don't have any burnable CDs, but uh. So what you're gonna want to do is a. Uh, Copy this code into terminal, paste this code in, and then it. Yeah, I'll try and show you, but I might not be able to really, because I don't. Once again, I don't have any burnable CDs, so. Yeah. And then to re-enable the CD burner, you just paste, paste this code in. You may or may not have to use kill all terminal in this one. I haven't ever tried it, so. You know. First thing you're gonna want to do. And then oh yes, for the next trip we're gonna enable the simple finder. Which uh, all the um, descriptions for these commands will be in the uh, description as well, but uh, you can basically um, stop retain more privacy with your files in the simple finder uh, and uh, also you will not be able to open a new finder window and uh, if you that, however people will still be able to launch applications that are on the dock and by using the searchlight so what you're going to want to do is a uh, paste this code into terminal press enter oh yeah Then type and as you can see I'm trying to open a new finder window and I can't that and also every file on my desktop is gone so 
yeah, that's about all this trick does. And then uh, to reverse that, go back to the regular, you just copy this code here and paste it into terminal. Then, uh, then again, all finder. Then it'll come, everything will come back in a minute. And uh, as you can see, I can now open finder again. Now, this trick, it says here, it doesn't work in OSX Lion, but what, you're, but what this trick basically does is when you use the uh, quick look to pull up a folder, uh, it will show a short animation where the icon usually is. So, paste this code into terminal, kill off finder, Fine, no, fine, fine. Uh, so now I'll try and show you. Uh, Uh, unfortunately, the uh, this option, the fourth one, isn't really working for me. It says it doesn't really work in line. It could be that it doesn't work in mountain line too, or it could be that uh, I have customized folder icons, so maybe that's why. But to turn that off, you just enter this code. Then do kill all finder. And then the fifth option I'm going to show you is a uh, um, when you is a uh, display a path in the title bar. This space basically means that you that uh, it will basically show you the path of files that you've gone through through in Finder. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to copy this paste, get this code in, type kill wall. Finder Then as you can see it's um as I select a file it will then sit show me what uh, what where the uh, Whether it's the system path to that file, so like I'm in my folder called desktop, so it's on my desktop, saying I'm in user, users, uh, so like. As you can see here, it's I'm in my documents. It's saying it's telling me I'm in users, username, documents. You know, you get the idea. And to turn that off, you just use this. Yeah. 
then type kill all fine then you're done next is the option to quit the uh, finder so yeah you can basically just uh, close the finder all the way it's just kind of a fun hack and you need to, um, what you're going to want to do is paste this code in the terminal kill all finder Then your yeah, quit find reappears. Then I, uh, yeah, as you can see, everything, all the mom my icons are gone. For the first time ever, the uh, for the first time ever, Finder is not a running process on my computer, and uh, yeah. Then to get then to disable, you can still just open. Finder again by uh, clicking on it. <laughs> then to get rid of that option, you just paste this code in the terminal. Kill Finder, and then then that option will be gone. The seventh trick is to stop is to uh, stop the computer from being able to eject a disk, which I can't really show you, so I'll just put these codes in. So, so I'll just show you these codes, these two codes right here. This code stops your computer from being able to eject a disk and eject a disk. Then after that this code will stop you from will uh, re enable you to eject CDs and uh, eight the, the eighth and final trick will basically just show every f hidden file on your computer I don't have any hidden files so I can't really show you and then you just use this code to make them all hidden again sorry my mic kind of mess messed up there for a bit uh, one last trick that I'm going to show you that I kind of forgot about uh, is a uh, a trick that will let you watch Star War, a part of Star Wars IV A New Hope, a terminalized version, you know, in Terminal. So, just open Terminal. Now just let me find it. Yeah, you can pull up the last Terminal command you executed by pressing up on the uh, keyboard. Here it is. So yeah, just copy and paste this code into terminal, and there you go. And then it'll come up with this. And then after a minute, it's just gonna show you all these different messages. Yeah, this thing, it's not the whole movie, but like it shows you the intro and then it goes on for a long time. So I'm not going to sit here and play through it. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off.